Sir, when we read the life history of Hindu rishis, we come across instances when they have had weakness for women and sex, like Vishwamitra and Menaka or Parasara and Matsya Gandhi. How do you account for this? You must bear in mind that all rishis are basically human beings. Every human being experiences a revolution of three gunas during every day. In some part of the day, a man experiences the domination of sattva guna. Then in the next part of the day, sattva guna goes down and rajoguna shoots up. Then the third part of the day comes, tamoguna dominates. So depending upon the type of guna which is dominating during a particular time of a day, a man's character changes. Man's mind is affected by this revolution. Rishis, as human beings, experience this revolution of gunas. But since they are fasting all over their longevity, it doesn't affect them very much. But once in a blue moon, once in a few months or a few years, when Rajoguna dominates, they feel that the sexual urge troubles them. That urge dominates them and they have union with some a girl belonging to Devaloka or some beautiful uh, human girl. This uh, they cannot avoid. Even anybody cannot, can avoid, cannot avoid. But as a devotee, it is our duty not to look into such things. It is our duty to keep aside these drawbacks and evaluate a Rishi only by the noble side of his life, his attainments, his contribution to humanity. We are bound to respect them only on this ground. We are not supposed to go into the darker side of their life.